Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what enhancements I use in the Ads Manager on Meta, which ones I do not use and why you should be careful with them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm in a test account of my own and what we're going to do, I've downloaded an image from Gymshark just for the purpose of this video. Here, when you're at this stage, make sure you edit all of the formats. Make sure this one is square. So it fits perfectly on social media feed. Make sure this is vertical. Of course, you can spend some time and actually create an image that fits vertically. This one is not. So you need to edit it and make sure it fits properly on vertical and here as well. And here is where the enhancements are. Now, usually you should have about 11. I'm not sure why I have only eight, but we'll go only over those that I have at the moment. Okay, so let's go through the first enhancements and this is an ad catalog items. Now this is very important, it looks very good, but you need to be careful with it because sometimes, especially when you're an agency, you have all of your clients catalog here. And if you do not change it, as you can see here, at the moment I have one of my clients products. And if you're not careful, you can advertise two different brands. So for example, here the main image could be one of your clients and then the cat's dot could be another one of your clients, which is a big no-no and you need to be careful with it. It looks really good, you can use it, but really be careful with it. Couple other tips, let's say if you are promoting, in this case, t-shirts, you can show only t-shirts here or you can show products from this collection. So it's really up to you. You can split test and see which one works the most. Add overlays. Now with this one, we're gonna click adjust colors and you can select different styles of text. What font do you want? What background color? And then you can make edits on the actual image and you can add text overlay. So for example, let's do a remove. And by the color that you've chosen and the font, Facebook will place text overlay on your image. Next one, visual touch-ups. And if you're not sure what any of the enhancements mean, you can go on the eye icon and it's gonna tell you. For example, automatically crop and expand your chosen media to fit more placements. Now this is good. Turning on this enhancement will enable vary aspect ratio and expand image. I usually leave it on music. You can change the music and select what music do you want, but I'm not the biggest fan of those, so I usually leave this off. When it comes to 3D animation, again, you can split test this. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Text improvement, I never use it simply because, let me show you what it does. With the text enhancement, Facebook will sometimes take your headline and move it to primary text. And it will take your primary text and move it to the headline. And as you can imagine, most of the time is not gonna look good. So I usually don't use it. So the others that we did not go through, enhanced CTA, this one I usually leave it on because as you can see, if we go here, we'll pair key phrases from your ad sources with your CTA. You can view all the phrases that were collected before running your ads. So you can click this one, customization, and you can select AI to identify your promotional phrases. Image animation, this one I usually leave it off as well. And that's about it for the enhancements. Now, my personal recommendation would be to not use all of them on autopilot. Make sure you select just the ones that you need because most of the time they don't look good, to be completely honest with you, in my opinion. Now, with the catalog, highly, highly recommend to you to use it. Visual touch-ups, yes. Music, not the biggest fan of the songs there. Text improvement, I never use it. So yeah, really be careful with it. You can split test and see which ones work better, but again, these are the ones that I use. One other thing that I don't like when it comes to the enhancements is that Facebook does not tell you which ads work better. Do the ads with enhancements work better or the ones without? So Facebook will not place the enhancements on every single one of your ads. It will place just on some of them. But the issue is, it's not going to tell you which of the two are performing better. So you can't really make data-driven decisions and you're kind of letting Facebook do the job. So that's why I don't use all of them and I use only the ones that I mentioned. And that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you for checking this video, guys. I'm going to drop a lot of free resources in the description of this video, like how to create content at scale, some of the best performing cats at the moment, which you can check out. And if you found value in this video, like and subscribe. It really helps me out to get these videos out there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.